For cheap and fast coins, check out igvault.com and use code HABER to get yourself a 6% discount. Link and discount code is in the description. How's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, what I've got for you is my preparation advice for team of the year. Now, as you can see, I've got 6.9 million coins in the bank and you're probably already guessing that the first bit of advice I can give you is probably just go liquid. Uh, in terms of market crashes, where I feel players' prices crash the most is during lightning rounds, or at least for the gold tier cards, for example, anywhere from 83 to 89, 90 plus rated gold cards usually crash a lot during uh, the, the, for example, the lightning rounds that happen when the attackers get released, the defenders, the midfielders, etc. And you know what EA likes to do over promos, especially team of the year. They drop packs every day. They drop packs for breakfast. They drop packs for lunch. They drop packs for dinner. I can't even speak because they drop so many packs. But, you know, they drop a lot of packs because they want you to spend a lot of money over team of the year. So, in my opinion, if I were you, I would go ahead and you know probably liquidize your club and try and pick up some cards during lightning rounds to sell on at a higher price yeah after team of the year a lot of people will have a lot more coins thanks to packs have opened or team of the years have packed and they start buying cards when people start buying cards after team of the year the players prices rise up which is why you see a lot of people uh buying before team of the year or during team of the year and selling after because you make a lot of profit the profit margin is way up through the roof and i personally think that it's just safer in general to go liquid i've always thought that i've always uh, uh, felt that you know you're always safer going liquid as opposed to having players in the club because you never know what can happen players prices could drop at an instant the company ea sports fifa the company are generic generically very uh unpredictable when it comes to you know releasing lightning rounds releasing packs etc so i think being liquid is probably always the safest option if i were you i would possibly just sell your cards now sell them just before team of the year drops because I guarantee most of your gold cards will drop during team of the year. Now, you wouldn't have noticed because uh, the face cam was actually blocking it, but I have 12 packs saved up. They're actually literally just two player packs. I'm not actually too bothered about why I've got these saved up. I just thought I would uh, use them as an example. I actually thought you'd be able to see the 12 uh, over the store and just have that as like a little talking point. But, uh, but sadly, the face cam actually blocks it. And I've still got the Christmas face cam. Bro, we're, it's January 5th right now, and I've still got the Christmas face cam. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. I need to uh, step it up. I need to hit up the designer and get a new face cam done. Anyway, uh, what I would do is I would look at some of the League SBCs. There's some fun, fantastic good deals in terms of League SBC packs that you can do to get some great packs for very cheap. Uh, Milan's a great one for a rare election players pack. Same with Napoli with a prime gold players pack. Roma's great for a prime and gold players pack. Not entirely sure uh, how much Juve is, but if Juve's got a prime and gold players pack uh, or a mega pack, it might be quite cheap. A uh, rare election players pack for Inter, guarantee that's pretty cheap as well. Rare elections are fantastic, by the way. They're uh, they're obviously all rare players, but you get, I think, six rare players, which is half a 50k pack, plus the six rare silvers, which could sell for something, given that they go for a lot bit based on a league SBC. Um... So what I do is I would come to, for example, the league in NOS, look for the higher, for the lower leagues, look for the higher teams. For example, Sport and CPA guarantees very cheap for a rare election players pack, very worth it. 25k pack for Benfica. Uh, not entirely sure where FC Porto is actually. Where is Porto? There. It's a rare election players pack for Porto. Again, cheap, very probably good value for money. Um, with, with for example, the high-end league in the MLS, probably not worth looking at. They're probably a little bit too on the uh, lower end for the league. Um, but the Bundesliga will be a great one. Dortmund I've already done. Uh, I've done buy a Leverkusen as well for a premium gold players pack. Um, you can just go through them and check. You know, you have like uh, jumbo premium gold packs. Uh, gold packs there, probably not worth it. But you know, if you have like prime gold players packs or rare election players packs here for Dortmund, I would personally do the rare election and the prime gold players pack. You know, those kind of ones. I think they're great. I believe the championship also has a couple of decent packs. You know, I don't think they have a huge amount, but a small gold players pack probably not amazing. But you know, premium election players pack probably quite decent. Uh, rare gold packs not too bad uh, small prime election plays packs probably not too bad premium gold pack Oh, premium gold pack's probably awful, actually. Uh, but, you know, I imagine a lot of these are pretty cheap. And don't forget, you actually get the player at the end of it as well. So, for example, say if you completed the Bundesliga one, you get a choice of uh, of Nabri or Cagliari. So, you've got, like, a high-rated player at the end of it as well. If you somehow complete all of them, maybe you've done, like, a, a few of the player packs before you get you get them done. For example, uh, in the league earn, let's have a look through there. We've got, um, what have we got from league earn? We've got, uh, da -da 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 -da. what? Uh... Rare makes players pack. It's kind of meh. Um, 
Where? Okay, here we go. Prime Gold plays pack there. That you know, there's a few decent ones. Rare mix player packs are probably quite decent as well. Like, I'm not gonna lie, I I'd probably do a rare mix player pack or two. Uh, but you can just save up packs. Saving up packs. Although I guarantee the team of the year percentage of you packing ones probably 0 0.000004. It's way more worth it than spending thief points. I wouldn't spend money if I were you. I'd probably just you know, uh, you know, save these packs up really, I, or you know, just just in some way try and make some coins or save some packs up. I, I think that's way more worth it than uh, than spending money because you got to think about it from this. And this is not like a spiteful thing to EA. I feel like if we stop, if we spend less money as a community over promos, um, and this is going to be completely different between you know the viewer base and the content creators. Like I will probably spend a, a bit of money, you know, because I want to make good content. But I feel like if we stop, if we spend less money, it means you're able to work on the promos to make better promos for us to spend more money. That's just the way I feel. That's the way I look at it. Uh, and I think that maybe it's a, it's a good idea if we collectively come together a little bit and try and spend less money to encourage EA to make something worth our money instead of just releasing the exact same thing over and over again and, and, and expecting us to spend loads of money on lightning rounds maybe that maybe we do that i'm not entirely sure now i touched on this in the last video but i think that buying rare players now for uh, anticipated sbcs is probably the best uh, your best bet if you look on the market you can pick up uh rare gold players for 600 to 650 coins uh bid they will all shoot up to like eight, nine hundred coins without a shadow of a doubt. If EA released there, I don't know how long I've been on this this scene for, but uh, you know, I didn't mean to remove the face cam completely. Um, like I was saying, I think that uh, with with these cards, they will shoot up if EA release certain SBCs, for example, the premium league upgrades or the eighty one slash eighty two plus packs. These will definitely shoot up. So now is your time to bid or buy on them. Uh, I'd probably say that you're better off bidding on them now and getting them for 600 coins as opposed to waiting. Uh, that is just my opinion, and it obviously is someone that completes SBCs and and, and does all the SBCs. That's just the, the way I look at it. Uh, I wouldn't, if I were you, do like I know I've done 12 2 player packs, but I kind of wanted to open them whilst I was talking. I wouldn't, if I were you, um, you know, do two player packs now. I would probably wait because you're probably going to have way more. SBCs to complete with your players during team of the year than now but I just wanted something to open whilst I'm talking because I thought that'd be a little bit more entertaining to watch me open packs whilst I'm talking as opposed to just talking and and floating through the menu I thought so uh and I guarantee from 12 12 two player packs you probably won't get much so yeah I wouldn't do two player packs if I were you I'd probably wait and see what more worth the SBCs they bring out last year they brought out I think it was 81 plus packs which were phenomenal I saw so many people packing team of the years and 81 plus packs last year I packed a team of the year from an 81 plus pack last year I know a lot of my friends packed team of the years from 81 plus packs last year that's a fantastic pull actually an 85 rated card is actually phenomenal uh, I wish I packed him earlier because I actually had to buy this card earlier for the Tevez SBC Wish I'd have packed him earlier or wish I'd have done the Tevez SBC later. But by the way, let me know down below if you've done that Tevez SBC. That was incredible value for money in my opinion. That was actually fantastic. I am very impressed with the A for that SBC. Uh, it's been a while since we've had a really good value for money SBC. Uh, especially one where, you know, you don't feel bad about completing it, I guess. Um, so I think that, uh, that, that Tevez was actually fantastic. It's got great stats. And one thing that I think that the reason I'm so positive about the Tevez SBC. It's the fact that it's got, I think it's 87. Wow, another 85 rated card. Oh my goodness gracious me. I think he has 87 strength and 85 stamina in game and the stamina is huge. The fact that they've actually given a flashback SBC card, good stamina, makes me realize or think at least that they realize that they're learning, that they understand that we're sick of completing SBCs or get, get, get given SBCs that have low stamina because we just don't want to use those cards. So hopefully... EA are getting the message with uh, giving Tevez good stamina. I imagine they probably easily could have given him awful stamina, but uh, I'm very glad they gave him good stamina. Don't actually quite know what his base card stamina is right now, so maybe I'm barking up a completely fruitless tree, and I've just, you know, they've, they've just given him, like, a plus one stamina upgrade, but he just had fan a fantastic stamina all, uh, already. So I'm actually going to quickly check uh, before we finish off those packs real quick, because I want to make sure that I'm not being stupid. So, uh... The card, by the way, looks fantastic. The stats look absolutely incredible. So, yeah, 85 stamina. Uh, if I was to check his normal card, what's his normal card stamina? It, it, I swear, if it's like 83, I'm going to be well mad. Uh, where is it? 
Okay, yeah, they give them plus 11 stamina. That's fantastic. Finally, they realized I was so sick of getting those like 73 stamina flashback cards that just didn't make any sense. You know, we got like Juan Fran who got a good stamina upgrade, but I'm pretty sure Pedro had like 74 stamina. So, and I mean, it could be completely wrong and I could be like just barking up, like I said, a fruitless tree. Uh, I'm going to quickly check Pedro's stats right now. I don't want to uh, bore you by going over to the squad screen again. Let me quickly check Pedro's stamina. Yeah, stamina 78 for Pedro. It's just not great, so I'm glad that they are learning. And I hope over Team of the Year we get another flashback SBC. Maybe like a Torres or something would be fantastic. Uh, I'm excited to see what promo uh, we have or what we have in the promo, sorry, what we have in store for us. Um, you know, Corey and Zaro both got back off vacation and were saying that they're uh, they're super excited to uh, to bring us the, uh, the promo and stuff. So I'm excited for that. And I want to hear your opinions down below. Uh, I am definitely getting prepared over the next few days. I'm going to be... Uh, gonna be doing a bunch of league SBCs and stuff and we'll uh, we'll see what we can get from it uh is that 83 or 84 83 i was really hoping we've had two 85s to be fair that's actually really decent um 85 is a fantastic for SBCs as we get the man himself tevez right there uh it's actually funny but yeah no i'm actually uh, i'm quite happy with the 12 two, two players pack, two player packs we've opened I don't really see the point in saving these to Team of the Year, but I think that rare elections and stuff like that, you know, it's always great to save those up. And especially if, like, rares are selling for a 1,000 coins each, you will make 100% profit. Like, 100% you'll make profit. Sorry, not 100% not profit, but you will make definitely make profit on all the packs that you do so there are my tips for team of the year hopefully you're excited because i'm super excited the content on the channel will be will be ripe it will be exciting it will be it will be you know hopefully great depending on how the promo is hopefully we pack some team of the years probably won't but i'm hoping we do anyway thank you all for watching i really appreciate the support lately and i'll see you lads later